plasmolysis. To understand the phenomenon of plasmolysis occurring in plants, take a peel from the lower surface of a royal leaf. Place the peel on the drop of water on a slide. Cover it with a cover slip. On examining the cells under the microscope, we see thick isodiametric cells. These turgid cells show a prominent cell wall and a nucleus. These cells are the normal plant cells. The slide is removed from the microscope and the cover slip removed. The peel is placed in concentrated sugar solution. A closer look within a cell shows that water molecules from within the cell diffuse across the semi-permeable cell membrane to the sugar solution. After a few moments, shrinkage of the cytoplasm is detected. The first sign of shrinkage is called incipient plasmolysis. Further shrinkage of cytoplasm continues till it appears somewhat spherical. This stage is called evident plasmolysis. At this point, the vacuole gets deflated and the cell membrane moves away from the cell wall. Such a cell is said to be flaccid. When such a peel of royo cells is placed in distilled water, then it results in endosmosis. On zooming into a single cell, it is observed that molecules of water diffuse from outside the cell across the cell membrane to within the cell. Over a period of time, the vacuole becomes prominent and the cell turgid. The cell as a whole attains its original shape and size. This phenomenon is known as deplasmolysis. Recapitulation When a peel from the lower side of a royo leaf is placed in hypertonic concentrated sugar solution, then diffusion of water molecules from the cytoplasm across the plasma membrane to the sugar solution outside occurs. This phenomenon is known as plasmolysis and the cells become flaccid. When these flaccid cells are placed in hypotonic distilled water, deplasmolysis occurs and the cells become turgid again.